This is the scale that I use for my freeze dryer. It is very thin. It goes up to like 20 pounds. I will link it in my Amazon store under the kitchen tab. But let me show you why I go to this one. I measure in one grams. I want to know every gram, not just every five grams. I do have a scale my old trusty scale and it measures in five gram, gram increments. Now here's the problem with the five gram increments. We're gonna take a cup of water and set it aside. Then we're going to take two containers. We're actually going to see what the difference is per gram. Let's fill this one with one gram and this one with five. We're going to tap it to turn it on. And you're not gonna be able to see it because it's gonna blink. We're gonna put two dishes on there we're going to zero it out. We're going to fill this one with five grams. Oh, maybe 16 grams. Let's do 20. 21. Now we're going to do this one with, there's 25. So this should be four grams. That is amount of water that would still be left in the product if I was using the other scale. So if I want to do five, if I want to know every five or every gram that's gone, I'm going to want to do one gram increments. So basically this right here is four grams of water. Now, if I was using my old scale that only measured every five gram increments, this is the amount of water that would still be in my product, which would be enough water to make the whole entire batch invalid because it would look like it was done, but it technically would not be done because there would still be water left in it. So this is why I measure, I use the one gram increment and I measure continually every two hours until I am no longer losing weight. So let me do it again. This is five grams of water. That's how much water that would be left in your product if you were using a five gram increment scale which is probably one of the most common scales. But when you want exact and you want to know when something doesn't have any water in it, you're going to want to use a one gram increment scale. And I will link this in my Amazon store, which is the links in my bio. I hope that helps. But I love the scale. It is not a battery operated scale. It is actually a rechargeable scale, which I probably should charge it because I don't remember charging it since I've gotten it, which has been like six months. So there you go and I use it for all of my freeze drying. Talk to you guys later. Now you know what I know, and I hope that helps.